this video I'm going to show you how you can use Windows VSD plugins in your Mac OS DAW. And for the sequencer so far I am going to use Ableton Live. So you need just three things to make this work for yourself. And those are your Mac system of course with a DAW installed. I'm using Ableton Live but any other preferred sequence software you can use for it. Um, of course you need a PC with Windows installed and with several VST plugins installed on it and you need Vienna Ensemble Pro. For that piece of software I will put a link in the description below. Now let's get started. First of all I have started my Ableton Live version and I have installed already VSL this Vienna Ensemble Pro and I will select this piece of software drag it in here and this screen will open and you see that the status for now is not connected now I am using Microsoft Remote Desktop and I think it's pretty stable so to connect my VST PC I just double click and here we are in my VST PC, my real Windows PC. And you see here two instances of Vienna Ensemble Pro Server. The one is 64 bit, and there's the one that is a 32 bit plugin. You can both use them at the same time, which is very handy because if you have uh, several plugins that are only 32 bit and you have also 36 bit plugins, you can use them at the same time together. For the sake of this video, I will only use a 64-bit plugin, and I will start up this Vienna Ensemble Pro server instance. Now I'll go back to my live environment, and I'll choose to connect to a server. And here we are. This is a available server. I select this one, and I click on connect. Now we are connected, as you can see. I also want to pull down a bit on the volume here because it's too loud if I'm playing some music. Um, now let's go back to my remote desktop session and this window appears when you are successfully connected to Vienna Ensemble on your PC. Now we want to load in the plugin, just right click here, choose add plugin and I will choose Hive. Now Hive is a beautiful server synthesizer from UA and you can buy it at UA.com. Well, just look for Chicago Skyline and I will go back to my live session. This can go. And if we have triggered it right, then we can play with it in live. Yes, we can. Here we go. Well, and if you would like to record something, just click this button here. some mini notes in here. Let's check it out. Yeah, here they are. Just quantize them a bit. And if you like, you can just play around with it. Well, sounds okay with me. And, well, that's it. Uh, you have just created your uh, own MIDI track with Vienna Ensemble Pro. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments or questions or compliments whatsoever down here below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.